Avela Oost, everyone. It's Roddy on 7X, and I've decided to do a response video to AJ's video. Um, and I was going to talk about stage 5 of the cast model. The cast model is kind of like a system of six stages, which not everyone like goes through them all the way, but um, or in order, even. Um, but in general, it's the stages people go through when they're coming out. Um, the fifth step is um, Identity Pride which is the stage that most people are in when they have to listen to AJ's video and get her rules and everything. Basically in Identity Pride, most people feel like they really need to broadcast their gayness to everyone else. And um, they do this through a lot of ways. They primarily do this through coming out. Not always, but they can. Um, you can do it through Pride Jewelry. Which, this is my pride jewelry. It's one of my two pride jewelries. And another thing that's characteristic of this stage is that people will tend to feel compelled to blend in with the rest of the gay community and therefore follow stereotypes, like AJ was saying. But um, for some more gay ones, you shouldn't feel compelled to change your hair or get piercings or get tattoos or wear tighter clothing or... Um, lose weight, or follow everything that the Queer Eye guys say, watch Project Runway, or listen to Britney Spears, or or memorize history, or listen to like LGBT singers, buy a lot of pink and purple, and start wearing that, read all of Oscar Wilde's books, um read all of anyone's books, really. Unless you're in a lit class, then you have a good excuse. Also, overuse of the rainbow ribbon. Um, and I guess the whole issue is that these things are a good way to let other people know that you're gay, which is pretty much your point. But they shouldn't be used to the extent that you're destroying who you are in favor of this. I mean, like, a tasteful rainbow ribbon every once in a while isn't a bad thing. It's a nice little symbol. But if you start, like, totally changing your personality just to look gay, then there's kind of a problem. Um, another thing that people sometimes do in this stage that I don't like is um, they tend to associate fully within, like, the gay group and so they reject like straight friends and everything they kind of divide the world into gay and straight and straight is evil and I think that first of all if your straight friends stood by you while you were coming out and everything um, then you should not dump them like that and you're a bitch um, and eventually as you start to enter stage 6 which is identity integration identity synthesis um, you'll start to live outside the community and start making heterosexual friends I mean friends who are heterosexual so, um, and stuff like that and this kind of will all fade away I don't really wear this that much anymore um, I guess I should add right now that I'm not entirely like being really patronizing because I don't know which stage I am at but I think I'm somewhere around 5-6 um, I might still be in 5 but I think I'm like starting to nudge into there. And also, don't sweat it. I mean, if you feel like you need to conform and do all this stuff, that's great. But, I mean, don't feel like you have to, but if you want to, then it's fine. And the worst thing that'll happen is that you will spend $400 on Pride stuff and then have to give it to Goodwill. You make a lot of homeless people happy and cheat people like me who shop there.